Today I'm going to show you the quickest way to freeze cherries or to dehydrate cherries. Um, there are several different types of pitters. I talked about that on a different video. Um, this is the quickest if you don't care what they look like. The holes will come out the side or whatever and most of the pits will come out the side. Sometimes you, they get stuck and you need to pull them out. But uh, cut them in half and stick them on a dehydrator for at 130 uh, temperature for 24 hours or so. You probably need to flip them halfway through depending and rotate. If you don't rotate you may have to put them on a little bit longer. You can see these are still pliable but they are dry. They taste a little bit like dried plums. Once they're dried all the fruit juices condense and the sugars condense and it makes them look quite sweet. The quickest way to freeze them. Pit them this way. Dump them onto a cookie sheet. They can be touching if they're not wet. I washed these a couple hours ago and let them dry. Uh, so you can put them as close as that if they're not wet. If they're wet, you want to separate them just a little bit. Stick them on the tray in the freezer. And they should be frozen, depending on your freezer temperature, within a few hours. Once you pull them out, they... Uh, these ones were not in the deep freeze. These were in my freezer. And also, I just put them in a bag. I didn't freeze them on the tray because I'm going to use them in smoothies and not for decoration. The best way to do them for decoration, you can see this one looks whole and it's beautiful. You can use either the, the mason type pitter for that or this one I think is the best and the quickest. It's a thumb one. It supports the, the cherry down here. It doesn't bruise it. I find that's the quickest way to do them if you want them to be pretty and you want them to, to have the stone pushed out through the center. So now that could be on a tort or something and it would be very pretty. You wouldn't even know that it didn't have the pit in it. Anyway, so if you need them to be pretty, you're going to float them in water or put them on some kind of a tort or something like that You want and you want them to be pretty, I would do them that way. Otherwise, do a whole bunch of them, put them into a bowl, dump the bowl into a bag, freezer bag. I double bag these and stick them in the deep freeze. They last for quite a long time in the deep freeze. You can cut them in half if you want to before you put them in. I don't think it matters. As long as the pits are out of them, I'm not too worried about it. Throw them into smoothies. You can eat them just frozen like that, but be careful. You don't want to give them to a kid. It was a chokey. If you're going to give them to kids, I'd cut them into quarters before you give them to them frozen. Um, that you can do that. They'll they'll cut frozen. They're not because they're hollow. They're easier to cut and they're not hard solid. So they're kind of like frozen grapes. You know, don't give a kid a frozen grape. Cut them cut them into quarters like French fries if you're going to do that. Same with hot dogs and other things. You don't want to give them anything that will be a choking hazard. So I always cut them French fry weight length instead of into coin sizes. Um, so anyway, that's how you freeze them, and that's how you dehydrate them. And that's the way to pit them. Thanks for watching. Uh, check out my YouTube channel, The Secret is Gratitude, or my blog, thesecretisgratitude.com, and I have uh, pictures and better description on there. Thanks for watching, and have a blessed day.